Today at the Glass House, I participated in the Simplicity Conversation, uh, inviting people from as far flung as France and Switzerland to as close as New York, basically. The topic of simplicity is something that I'm carrying um, in different venues in the business world, in the design world, and also the technology world. Uh, I have a book called The Laws of Simplicity. Now, the guest list for this conversation was extremely easy to compose. Uh, there are a string of friends that I've been meeting all over the world or here or there, and they just keep coming up as sort of a, the piece that doesn't fit in the puzzle. And when you get them all together, they're actually the puzzle pieces that we're missing. We had a chance to think and together as new friends, but also really we advanced ideas of simplicity, I think. Today was a success because um, we discussed simplicity, we discussed complexity, but we also discussed general life questions. What does it mean to be human? That's a core question, I think, today. An unexpected idea that came up today was the question of values. How uh, when we all have values, life is simpler. Um, that was something I didn't expect, you know, faith-based values, scientific-based values. Um, that was uh, very surprising. The Glass House informed the conversation by providing a place like no other. Um, it's a, a singularity point in, I wouldn't say nature, because it's sort of man-made. Um, it's a place where many conversations have happened in the past. So like a great bicycle, it's easy to ride for conversations to happen. Well, I mean, even just visiting the glass house changes you, but the conversation really made me think about how um, when you have diverse opinions, diverse backgrounds, diverse ages, age ranges, and you bring people together and you have a great dinner in a, in a very special place, new things are invented. Um, it goes beyond the idea of university or colleges or whatever. It becomes this, this um, massive propellant of culture, of ideas. I think that the success of a glass house conversation owes it to the glass house because everything is about venue. Uh, people, of course, is the most important ingredient. However, people don't come for specific reasons. Uh, if there's a great venue, they all come. So the glass house was the magnetic attractor for all this great talent to, to spend time away from their very busy lives to take a moment and think out loud together. What gives a glass house the power of place is the scarcity and the abundance of its space. It's a very large space. You could easily cart a, a couple hundred people onto your campus and it would be uh, like a theme park almost. And so the fact that only 12-ish people are on that large campus in a tiny house. Um, it feels like it's the right scale. You feel like you're on the planet Earth and that everything else is the universe around you. I do a lot of meetings with different kinds of people and there's a customary thanks for inviting me kind of thing. And um, everyone that was here I felt was on the verge of tears almost, of, of just happiness, of being able to share the kind of fellowship, uh, but also um, to feel that we really did something different, different, something unique. It's this kind of event where you, you come and you've enjoyed yourself so much, you're, you're full, your stomach is full and your mind is full, and, but your heart is open for new ideas.